second we've had boys. Girls are so high maintenance. Yeah. Wait, excuse me? Uh, and then? Oh, look at this commercial. Hey you, every child is precious, don't you agree? And because of this, many parents feel a strong desire to complete their families with the addition of a son or a daughter. Maybe you have three sons. we know about this 10 years ago? David, those are my girls. Let's do it. I think the doctor's office is this way. Ah, here it is. Hi there, come on in. How are you? Good. What can I do for you two? We're interested in having another child, but we have five girls already, and but we would love a boy. Well, there are new developments in assisted reproductive technologies to affect the gender ratio. How does this all work? We are able to choose the gender of your baby. We can fertilize your egg in vitro and do a pre-implantation genetic diagnosis or PGD for short, to determine the gender of your baby before we implant it in your uterus. This technique has proven by far to be the most accurate in predetermining gender. It allows us to determine the chromosomal makeup of each embryo and therefore determine whether the embryo is XX, female, or XY, male. Ultimately, we can choose the gender of your baby. That's amazing! That sounds like a great plan. All I need is your sperm and your egg. Differences make us special! Everything's in God's hands! It's God's plans! Designer Babies is trying to control God's creation! Designer Babies is murder! It's murder! Designer Babies is murder! It's abortion! Seatbelt, dear, come on. Sorry. I was a little preoccupied. <sighs> How about that activist? She was really weird. Yeah. Honey, what do you think she meant by designer babies being murdered? Hmm? What? Oh, I don't know. Don't let that crazy hippie get to you. Oh, okay. Hmm, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Hmm? Yes, dear? <laughs> Hey! Get out of the way, you freak! People these days. Jeez. Hun? Yes? What if we're really only supposed to have five girls? And maybe if we have another, it would be just the way it is. Maybe God meant for us to have this, and it's not supposed to be our choice. Wait, are you saying you'd be okay with another girl? I want whatever God creates for us, not what a lab puts together. Wait, what happens to the embryos that aren't boys? What if the first one he puts together grows into a girl and he throws my baby in the garbage? Babe, it's okay. I mean, it's not even alive, right? Like, it doesn't have a heartbeat. But it would eventually have one, and now it doesn't have the right to because it's got two X chromosomes, and the Y from you wasn't strong enough to make it through. It's your faulty Y chromosome's fault. This is getting way out of hand. No!
I understand what you're saying, honey, but I don't think it's a good idea. Just think about how many boys we could have running around the house. I like my girls. But do they help you out with your laundry? They do your laundry. Right. Well, what about sandwiches? They don't make me sandwiches. My boys can make me sandwiches. Well, that may be true, but I still don't think it's a good idea. Like me a good sandwich. All right, well, let's just sleep on it. <sighs> All right, dear, let's. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. combine hundreds of eggs and sperm, and they've all turned out to be girls. How odd. Hmm, that's a lot of wasted embryos, eh, Doc? <laughs> yeah, lots of dead embryos. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a weak wife. <laughs> It's had a nightmare, but this baby idea has got to go. Hi, it's Dr. Smith. Uh, yeah, just one moment, please. Oh, why, hello there, Mr. and Mrs. Falangi. What can I do for you? We have to cancel our order right now. I don't care if it took hundreds of sperm. I can't let them all go to waste. My why just can't do it. Your why can't do what? <laughs> Mr. Falange, the gender of your baby isn't because your Y chromosome is weak. It's purely chance, 50-50 to be exact. But have no fear. This next child will be a boy. Weak or not, I no longer want to continue with this process. Oh, hello, doctor. So good to see you. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Welcome back. Here for another consultation? Yes, we're so excited. And how's Deanna doing? Oh, she is doing lovely. Her third birthday is in two weeks. We're excited to have a new little sister. Excellent. If I could just have you wait a moment and I'll be right with you. All right, let's discuss. Come in! Sorry to interrupt, Doctor, but there's a very important call for you on line one. Oh, thank you. Excuse me one moment. Hello? I hope you don't mind me asking, but have you done this before? Why, yes, our first and only child, Deanna, was born this way. Really? How come? I am a carrier of an inherited disease that only affects males. It's a recessive trait on the X chromosome, so we had, if we had any boys, there would be a good chance they'd have the disease. We used this genetic technique so that we wouldn't have to put any of our children through such a tough, short life with this disease. By having a girl, we can be ensured they don't have it. Well, that's a different way of looking at things. Hmm, I guess there's a lot of good things and a lot of bad things in this process. I think, Dave, if we're going to make this big decision, we should do more research and take some more time to weigh out our options. I agree. And to be honest, I love our little princesses. Me too. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Sorry about that, Mr. and Mrs. Falangi. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. As I was saying. Doctor, we very much appreciate your time, but I'm afraid my wife and I still have a lot of decision making to do. Even though this process is legal, we're not sure if it fits in with our life choices. But for some, it does. 
thanks again for your time, but I'm afraid we'll need to cancel. Yes! yes.